A little roasted Roma action with spring onions. Honestly, I just need to get rid of this stuff. So I will eat this so much with crackers, on salads, it's good on toast, like any of the things. It's also fire with like cheese and crackers. Next level. Hi guys, um, I just got back from the nail salon. I um, put together my yoga flows earlier and have just been doing some work, sending emails and stuff. Oh, my camera's a little bit dirty. Um, but anyways, I feel like my, I need to use. I always keep like glasses cleaner so I can clean. There we go, much better. Um, but yeah, I got one coat OPI, you can kind of see, put it in neutral um, on my fingers and then on my toes, I got, put it in neutral as well. And I honestly really like it. I think it looks good. And now I'm gonna go for a little walk. Blake left to go to the Nike store with his brother. So, yeah. Pistachio crusted sea bass. Hi, lover girls. Happy Saturday. Oh my God. I haven't walked because I've just been literally doing the thing today. So I got up, did a little workout. We went to the farmer's market and it was so fabulous. I got a ton of greens and stuff, but I was in such a rush after the farmer's market because I just needed to get my stuff all ready and then go meet Kate. So I didn't vlog what I got, but I figured one week wouldn't be a total mess. Um, not showing you guys. I didn't even take a pic. Usually I do. Um, but it was so good. I'm trying to think of everything we got. We got spinach and then we got some like frise. Um, we got some like thing called Blake. Do you remember what the spinach thing was called? That's like in between spinach and arugula. I have no idea. Something that's in between spinach and arugula that I don't know the name of. Purple. Um, and it's like purple. Um, what else did we get? We got a lot of stuff. We got a big beef steak tomato that we're gonna have in a sec. Some Malden salt. We got. Um, I'm trying to think. Mushrooms. Um, I think that might be it. Um, but it was great. And then Kate and I actually went to Tinks's book signing. Um, I don't follow Tinks like very closely, but another one of my friends was she told me about it and she was like yeah i'm going because she follows her a little bit more closely and i was like you know what it seems like kind of a fun thing to do like get cute and go to a book signing so we went and it was 35 dollars, and you get like her signed book and obviously you get to meet her it's the most disappointing thing ever i'm not gonna lie like when i do meetups because we're speaking in wens here I want it to be like we're hanging out. Like I do not. I think it's one of those things that if you're gonna do it, you cannot have ass it. And I just felt like it was like, she was, I kind of felt bad for her because she was overworked, you could tell. And she was just like dumb. And she was not present at all. Um, and we talked to her for probably two seconds and then we got books that were had been signed beforehand and had like a scribble in them. So I just, I don't know, I was disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I'm not gonna like blame Tanks for it because I think that she honestly was probably just trying to like, I just think it could have been planned better. Like everyone had 10 minute time slots. I think you like, you should give people their 10 minute time slot. And they didn't do that but anyways also i've been back onto egyptian musk oil for like a little like perfume if i'm gonna either like or if i'm going to work out or if i'm gonna shower later because i'm gonna shower again but i just want to smell good um egyptian musk is like an og skinny confident i think she talked about that like six years ago or something okay i'm going to teach like my class i'm wearing a cute little, cute little linen action and 
Good morning. Happy Sunday. We just got home from getting coffee and hanging out with Austin and Kayla. Blake's brother and his girlfriend. And then we stopped and they got groceries. I stopped and picked up a few, picked up a few basics. I'm gonna do a little basic haul in a little bit. Oh, sorry. In a little bit. And then I'm gonna do my summer light essentials, like clothes I'm loving this summer, stuff like that. But we just got some new oven mitts because ours sucked. We got these all clad ones. We'll let you know how they are. We got them in the color, what's it? Almond, which is so cute. They also had like a green one in the color pistachio, which like, are you kidding me? Um, but yeah, we'll let you know how they are because these ones suck, so. Throwing those away. Um, and then at Whole Foods, I've been trying to use my reusable produce bags. I got celery. I also got a little bit of broccoli. I got pineapple because until melon is in season, I will be enjoying pineapple. I'm obsessed with it right now. Have been for a couple months. Also, I need to make this artichoke. Um, okay, what else did I get? Oh, and I got some, honestly, you guys are gonna be like, you bought what you always buy. I got a box of spinach for the week. I got some salad, mint, or some romaine. That's the best romaine. This is so good for a Caesar salad with homemade fruit. I got a head of cauliflower. And then I got a potato. And then some ground beef. When we get ground beef, we oh my get the- gosh, this is so gross. What is? I left this in the refrigerator, or the Ew. overnight. Ew, Blake! It doesn't even smell. I'm not touching that. That's sea bass. I know, but smell it. No! It doesn't smell. I don't care, that's gross. I know it's gross, but it doesn't smell. That's leftover sea bass. I made pistachio crusted sea bass, and that's leftover. When Where we get, get ground beef, funny. Wait, why did you get the 90% lean? Usually we get... It's on sale. Oh, go crazy. Um... Usually we get 85. 80, whatever. Or 80. And then we got some proper rubber salmon. They're all the same. Dang. Okay. Hi guys. Um, so it's Monday afternoon. I was gonna do a weekend in my life this past weekend, but I really kind of just took the weekend off. So I'm gonna do a little weekend recap and then a little haul and just kind of chat with you guys. A little catch up. Um, so yeah, weekend recap. Sorry, I'm wiped. Okay, so first of all, I taught a double today. So I taught at 8 a.m. and then at noon and I am so wiped out. Like I've literally, like I'm just wiped. And I'm also doing some freelancing work for something really exciting. Um, so I was working on that. And honestly, Kate and I are gonna record an episode of the podcast in like 30 minutes at four. And then after that, I'm literally gonna zonk um, because I'm really, really tired. Um, so I think we'll probably just order in tonight. I'm not really in the mood to cook and I just need like, honestly, carbs. I just want like rice. And so maybe we get Chipotle, that kind of sounds good. Like their wok, some rice, I have some blue corn chips here. That's That sounds really good. Um, so that's gonna happen. So yeah, um, anyways, weekend. We honestly just like relaxed. Blake was not feeling great on Friday and Saturday. So we just chilled. We went to the farmer's market on Saturday and then Kate and I went to Tinks's book signing, which like, I'm not a huge Tinks person, but we thought it would be fun just like to do something different. It was the most disappointing thing I have ever done. I think I talked to you guys about it briefly. If I didn't, honestly, then I won't even give it the time of day, but I was just like really shocked. And like, yeah, I did say this, like, it's one of those things that you have to do, give it your all. Anyways, then yesterday we hung out with Austin and Kayla, and then we, that's Blake's brother and his girlfriend, we went to get coffee, and then we ended up just shopping around. So we went into Viore, which they have such good yoga stuff. So we went in there, 
we went into Arcteryx and the boys got some stuff and then we went into Aritzia and I've just been trying to evaluate like what my summer vibe is going to be in terms of style and I think my summer style vibe in my next video or like one of my next ones I'm going to do like a favorites like my favorite clothing items for summer um but I think my summer vibe is just like super minimalist and comfy like I just want to be comfortable in everything um so like hence these linen pants I'm gonna show you guys I've worn these guys like every single day this week they're so comfy and then just like little tanks like that um and yeah this tank is from aritzia actually i've been having luck there lately so i think that with aritzia i figured it out and you just need to look at the fabric if it's like 100 percent cotton you're good to go but if it's like a weird fabric no um but anyways so i got this tank actually yesterday at aritzia and then i also got it in a heather gray color and for me this is the summer of the white tank so i want to do like I'm, I have one coming from a turn and I have one coming from Amo, which I love on those white tanks, which I'll talk about in my video um, when I talk about my summer faves. But then I wanted to get a couple of these. These ones are like a really affordable price point. Like I think they're $20 each. Like, come on. So they're great. And I think they're just called the crop rib tank by TNA. So these are great. Pick a couple of these up. They're like 95% cotton, 5% elastane. And honestly, guys, I think that that's a really good hack when shopping anywhere is just look at the fabric because if it's like, if it's made of just cotton, there's no way it's going to look cheap unless the stitching is cheap. So yeah. Okay. So I got that. And then I also got this little tanky, which is called the Wesley also by TNA. And it's just a black tank top easy it was also like twenty dollars um and then finally i got this really really pretty i was like shocked that they had this in all honesty because it doesn't look like their other stuff so i don't know if you can tell but there's like a scallop detailing and i want to pair this with this um white co skirt that i have that i want to wear for like a bridal thing so this is called the heaven um and it's so pretty like i really really love it and it doesn't look like that classic aritzia that everyone knows it's aritzia like i do think this is a really great piece so anyways that's what i picked up yesterday last night we made steak it was so good um and then yeah i just got up and went and taught the 8 a.m flow and then my one of my best friends from high school was actually there shout out rachel <laughs> um and it was amazing she like surprised me at the class and then we got a coffee after and it was so great so i'm so happy that i got to see her i just feel so grateful um it's so wild like i feel like the friends from high school and like also just like growing up know you on such a different level because they've seen so many different like phases of your life um and it's actually a really beautiful thing um so it was really good to just like be with her um and yeah i just read up on the roof a little bit and now i'm making um i had an orange earlier and i decided i was gonna dry the um orange peel and preserve it and then i'm just gonna put it in a little jar and put it on our bar cart um because blake always wants orange slices but like we never really have them accessible because i i i mean i like oranges but they're definitely not a part of my like daily diet you know i don't know why i said it like that daily diet <laughs> But anyways, so I'm going to do that. And yeah, that's the vibe. I kind of want to get this vlog up. But I don't know. Also, I started Tinks' book. And I'm like kind of struggling with it because it doesn't really, like I feel like it doesn't apply to me. And then I was talking to her, to Blake about her box theory. And basically, if you guys don't know who Tinks is, her box theory is like, when a guy meets you, he puts you into one of three categories. He wants to date you, he wants to hook up with you, or he wants nothing to do with you. And when I talked to Blake about it, I asked him last night, I was like, is that a thing? And Blake was like, that could not be further from the truth. So maybe Blake just doesn't sub or doesn't consciously realize that. But like I was thinking about it and I was like, I feel like it is true for guys. So I don't know, but Blake said it is not true for him. But I was like, you never like I feel like you've never 
like you, from what I've heard about his past, he, like, he would never not, I don't know, like, he was never friends with someone and then they started dating. And like, he saw it this clearly platonic first. Whereas like, in my high school relationship, we started out as friends and then started dating, but like, I can guarantee that he had feelings for me when we were friends, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Also you guys, it's so wild because I always knew, like even when I was younger, like Kate and I are gonna do a podcast episode on this, but like hookup culture, I was like never into that, like at all. And I always knew that I just like didn't want to do that. And like that I wanted to be like, I always thought I would have a high school boyfriend, a college boyfriend, and then a husband. Turns out I just had a high school boyfriend and a college boyfriend. But honestly, like, I kind of got shit about that sometimes when I was younger. And not by like my peers or anything. I'm not gonna like call people out, but I did get shit about it. And now I'm like so freaking grateful because I feel like I was so thoughtful about even who I kissed. Like I yeah, I was just so thoughtful about that. And like any of that kind of stuff is such an exchange of energy and like it leaves a mark on you, you know? So I don't know. I'm just really grateful that I never like abused that power, I guess. Um, because I think there's something really special about like holding like intimacy sacred and holding it close. And like, I mean, if you like think about like going back, like we weren't meant i mean maybe maybe guys were but like i'm speaking on behalf of myself and myself only like i don't feel like i i don't know i just like don't feel like i was meant to be with multiple partners but i also think it just depends on the person like i have friends who like love hookup culture and like they own it and love it and like i love that for them like if you really like doing that you should do that but for me, I don't know, it always, like, you know that feeling, like, when your stomach just feels kind of weird? Like, I just remember getting it a little bit at sleepovers when I was little. Like, I don't know if I would call it vulnerability or just, like, being a little bit, like, it was just, like, a little bit off. Like, this just doesn't feel fully right to me because I was such a homebody when I was little. I mean, I'm still such a homebody. I'm such a lame but I, I love it. But... That's how I always felt about that, like in college and stuff. I think I kind of felt that way about going out though. And then I would like get in my head about it and like get super anxious and be like, why don't I want to do this? Why don't I want to go sit in the bar? And honestly, like I'm just grateful for Blake because like Blake did go out in college. I actually think Blake was like a little bit of a party man. I, I still can't get the whole vibe on it, but I don't know if he like went out a ton, but he went out a decent amount. Like he's whatever. And I think like when I met him, I was still so young and I'm not going to speak on behalf of all of the girlies, but I do feel like when you're in early college, like sometimes it can get really clouded and you're not just going out to be like with the girls and it's just going out to like try and find a guy. Um, and so I guess I just like didn't have that reasoning, but I don't know. I feel like I'm just rambling now, but like I do... Sometimes I guess like the only time I would actually want to go out is like I feel like there are some friend groups of like just girlfriends who like go out and have such a fun time together but I don't know every time I do stuff like that well I, I haven't gone out since I was like a freshman in college <laughs> anytime I did stuff like that I just got the weird queasy feeling in my stomach you guys um so anyways but I think like you just have to honor what you like, you know, and honor what makes you feel like your best self. And yeah, I think that's kind of what I was touching on too. Like this is going to seem like a jump, but I swear it's not just trust. I think that's what I was trying to get to in the last video when I was talking about diets and just like, and I, if you listen to the pod, the pod, um, I was talking about it in like the summer of mining your own beeswax. Like, I feel like now is the time 
and maybe this is just a phase in my life less so than like a switch in the ether but i just feel like especially in my life right now i am in the era the time of like honoring what i like and honoring what i don't and like really strongly leaning into that and i think i've always done that but like i think i've done it in a way where like i would commit to something and then i would flake and i'm done with that shit like i a flaky like pattern shows the universe that you're unsure whereas like i want to show the universe like i am freaking sure like i am here i'm either gonna show up or I'm gonna politefully decline. And so that's kind of like the path that I'm on right now. This is this conversation has really blossomed and gone a lot of different directions. <laughs> I don't know if I'd consider it a conversation, but like that is the era that I'm in right now where also my sister told me that I have got to stop saying era. So no era. <laughs> but the era that I'm in right now is like very much so I'm gonna be upfront with who I am, how I'm feeling, and I'm gonna show up as myself. And honestly, hate to bring it back to the pod, but I'm gonna live unedited. And I'm gonna keep the promises that I make and like be upfront when it's a no. And I think that's a practice. And like, believe me, I'm like the queen of overcommitting. So like, like literally me last week being like, I'm gonna upload four vlogs a week. I'm also gonna teach. I'm also gonna do this project. I'm gonna do this, this, this. And then honestly, you guys, what I did, and this, I think this is a really good tactic if you're an overcommitter, write down everything that you committed to. Write down everything that you have and look at it on a piece of paper and be like, okay, this is working or this is not working. And I can do this or this is too much. And for me, that's really helpful with going back to earth or like, Another thing that I've been doing is like putting it in my planner. Like if I commit to doing something with someone or being somewhere, put it in the planner. And like if, or like if I'm about to commit to it, put it in the planner, see how it feels. And then if it feels gro gross and you like think about it and you're like, I don't want to do that, then like bow out. I don't know. That's just where I'm at. And it's a journey and I'm trying to get better at it, but I wanted to share that because I feel like maybe it can, ident maybe someone identifies with it. But anyways, Kate's now coming down in 15 minutes and I really want to see if I can start editing this vlog so I can get it up. But I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for this community. You guys are the best. Like literally, I just love you all. Um, I'm just so grateful. And yeah i'll see you guys in my next vlog i hope you are having such a great day and i don't know why i felt called to say this just now but tell someone that you love them like that's my little assignment to you guys and i'm gonna do it too like tell someone maybe someone that you really haven't talked to recently or someone that you talk to every day just whoever you feel called to tell tell them that you love them and that you're grateful for them because it's important it's more important than we'll ever know okay i love you guys bye